All right, hello everybody. This recording is going to show you how to log into OneNote. Okay, OneNote is going to be your online notebook, and it's going to be where you eventually keep all of your drills and worksheets and handouts, and pretty much anything you used to do on paper should, for the most part, be kept in your OneNote notebook, at least for my class. So if you have Mr. Lenick on your screen, you probably have on your desktop, you probably have a shortcut to BCPS1. If you have that, go ahead and click it and just stay there for a moment. If not, you can open either Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Either one is fine. I'm going to open Internet Explorer. Give it a second. Wait for it. Maybe I'm not. Okay, so if we go to Google... Oh, there's Internet Explorer. Okay, it should pop up on your screen um, as the BCPS homepage. Let me show you what that looks like. Your screen should have gone directly here. When you're here, if you want to get the BCPS1 hover, do not click. Just hover your mouse over the part that says Students, and then go down to BCPS1, and now you can click. You're going to go ahead and click this Login button. And you should be using your username and password. Um, your username should be your three initials and then probably some numbers. So go ahead and put that in. Mine is just KDEL, just like my email. And then go ahead and put your password in. Okay, now you're only going to see three buttons. I see six because I'm a teacher, so mine doesn't look exactly like yours. But you still want to click on the Learning Management button. So go ahead and click on the Learning Management button. And again, mine looks different than yours because I'm a teacher. So you can see all my classes here um, are labeled. You should have your different subjects. And for today, you want to go to the one that says Science MS6. And it should have my name next to it. But you want to click on the course title, the one that says Science MS6. I'm just going to use 1B for an example. Now when you go into my class, um, it should actually look something like this. You might see some assignments. This is your grade book. You have all these tabs on your left-hand side as well. The one that we want to go to today is the Lesson tab. Okay, so click on Lessons. You probably have to double-click. And when you do that, you're going to see our week. And this was for B-Days, so I signed it on Thursday. There are instructions here, so you want to click on the... This is called a Lesson Tile. You want to click on the lesson tile that says Instructions. This was for Thursday. If you're my A-Day class, your instructions should appear on Friday. And remember, your science syllabus is also due. So if you haven't done that yet, you can click there as well to find that assignment. Okay, so below, your instructions show up. And what we need to do is we need to copy and paste. The link didn't show up as a hyperlink, so you're going to have to paste it into your browser. This can be kind of tricky on your device, so make sure that you pay attention. So our website is always going to start with the HTTP, so we're going to start there. I'm clicking with my left hand on the left side of the mouse, and then with my right hand I am dragging. Okay, see how that highlights it in blue? You want to highlight the web address in blue. Now some of you, if you've copied and pasted before, you've done the right click. On the devices, we're not going to do that. You're going to hit the Control button. It's in either corner of your keyboard. It says C-T-R-L. You're going to hit the control button and hold that down, and then you're also going to hit the letter C at the same time. Nothing exciting is going to happen. Let me repeat that. Nothing exciting is going to happen. Okay. Once you have done control C, we want to open a new window. And we want to click up in the browser box. A lot of you want to search. We don't want to search this. This is a web address, so we want to put it up in the top of the browser. And now we want to paste. And to paste, we don't use Control c We use Control v as in Valentine. So you're going to hit the CTRL button and the V button, both at the same time, and you should see the website link pop up in the top. Now you can just hit the Enter button. And it's going to take you to this screen. This is exactly where you should be. Baltimore County has given you an Office 365 account. Now, if you remember, 
it's going to look like you have an email address when you log into Office. Okay, if you log into Word or OneNote, we'll talk about what OneNote is today, or any Office product, you're going to use your username. My username is just KDEL. Again, your username is probably your initials and a couple of numbers. And you're going to add the at bcps.org so that it looks like an email address. Okay, now if you don't want to keep doing this, you want to click the Keep Me Signed In button and enter your internal password. And then go ahead and sign in. Oops, wrong password. Okay, so Keep Me Signed In. Go ahead and sign in. All right, and this is taking me to your personal notebook. Now, your notebook is going to look a little bit different than mine because if you notice, mine has a whole bunch of student notebooks inside of it. Okay, what you have to remember is that I can see your notebook. This is no longer a paper notebook where you can write what you please and you may or may not have written it. If you write in your notebook, I will be able to see it. So keep that in mind before you start typing away. A okay, couple different sections that you have on your notebook. You've got the welcome screen. That's where we're at now. If you want to learn more about OneNote, there are some videos that are embedded for you. You're welcome to watch them on your own time. There are also some videos specifically for students. So this shows you all the different things that you can do with OneNote, and we'll go through them throughout the year. Okay, what we're more interested in are these two sections. If you click on the collaboration section, I haven't posted anything here yet, but it tells you all about the collaboration session, the section. So if we were doing a group project, um, you could all be typing on the same document, and you'll see what everyone else is typing. So if we've got a project in class and your homework is to go home and brainstorm, you can all type in the same spot, and you'll see each other typing in real time so that you can work together without having to go into a chat room or anything like that. So you can do it right on the document. So collaboration is a space where everyone can edit. You can edit, your group members can edit, I can edit. The third section is called the content library. And the content library is where I'm going to post resources. So this tells you about the content library. Only I can edit the content library. Okay, you're going to be coming to the content library to copy and paste. So if you look at the example that I made for today's lesson, okay, your drill is posted in the content library. There are some directions posted in the content library, and then there are some resources for you. So you've got some pictures and diagrams, and at the end you have your analysis question. If you notice, some things are highlighted in blue. As we start using OneNote more, the things that are highlighted in blue are going to be the things that you copy and paste into your notebook. Okay, so then the other tab that you see, you should see Welcome, Collaboration, Content Library, and then you should see your name. So if we go into the first name that I have here, remember I can see your notebooks. This is Mr. Anderson's. Okay, he has four sections, Handouts, quizzes, homework, and class notes. Your drills would go into your class notes. So if Mr. Anderson wanted to add his drills, he would go to the content library, and he would just highlight, just like we did that one web address, Control-C. He would then click on his class notes, He can add a title up at the top, so he might want to add the date. August 27th. Okay, so he could edit. I actually can't edit your notebook. So he could then control V and paste his drill right into his notebook. And then when I'm ready to grade it, I can click on his name over here. I could click on um, Angel's name over here. And I can see all of the work that she's done throughout the weeks that she's placed in her notebook. So give it a try. I want you to go back for today. This is your task for today. You want to go to the Making Your Paper Rocket tab. 
copy your drill over to your notebook. Remember, Control-C is copy. When you get to your notebook, you're going to use Control-V to paste. And then I also want you to copy the analysis questions over to your notebook. Okay, so you would highlight it, Control-C, go back to your notebook, paste it in your class notes by hitting control V. And that's your assignment for today. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to stop at any time. If you're having trouble with the video, just stop and raise your hand. Catch you later. Bye.